Lemon Cross family, let's not be late. Janet, shoes and socks. Okay, let go of the comic book. I'm trying to get your jacket on. Chris, shoes and socks. Let's go, let's go. Oh, no, don't forget these. Oh, Just because right. you hate them. All right. Have a good day. Have fun at home. Any recommendations for the best place to buy a girl's bike on the Upper West Side? She's eight. I'm sorry, what's a girl's bike? Is that like a girl doctor? Go back to Saudi Arabia, Hitler. You're buying a bike but not a helmet? The head is where the child's brain is. Why don't you get educated, double Hitler? I was gonna buy a helmet. Helmets inhibit brain development. You might as well give your darling child vaccines, which studies show cause homosexuality. So what? My two-year-old is super gay, and we love him more than a straight child because he doesn't rape! Hey, Kenneth! Just thought I'd come up and say hi to the new president of NBC. <laughs> well, can I get you anything? Chickpeas, moonshine, turtle meat? I'm good. You know, I was with NBC for seven years, and even though right now I'm concentrating on being a mom... You've always had the body for it. At some point down the road, I do plan on getting back to work. Well, I hope it's with NBC, because we have hiring quotas. Okay, well, I actually think there might be a show in my life. You know, a woman writer living in New York. Oh, sorry. Woman, writer, New York. Those are all on my list of TV no-no words. See, I think audiences just want to laugh and forget about their problems when they watch TV. They don't want to watch some angry New York cranky pants Make that face, exactly. I want to make shows that people actually want to watch. Shows where a guy gets a drink thrown in his face and then he turns to his dog and says, don't even say it. <laughs> to his dog. Okay, well, I think TV can be successful without sacrificing quality. Mm. Oh, there it is. Okay, well. If that's what you want, maybe I shouldn't bring my ideas to NBC. I'll go to cable, where you can swear and really take time to let moments land. You? I'm a stay-at-home mom who, until recently, had a high-pressure job. Any advice on dealing with that transition? I put all my old work energy into parenting. My kids hate me, which gives me more parenting to do. Oh my god, I'm so sick of listening to stay-at-home moms whine. Try being a working parent. I did, but I got fired for stupidity. I'd switch places with any of you, and I have amazing cheekbones. Original poster. For your information, some people like work. Really? You like having 40 emails from Jerry all with a red exclamation point. Oh, they're all urgent, Jerry? Some people think that work is fulfilling and validating. For example, the rapper T.I., who wrote, better get on yo job, tell him haters get on yo job. Nougats. At least I think he was saying nougats. Well, I don't know what to say. I guess some people are idiots. Bitch, you are on my last nerve. Then why don't you do something about it? Gladly, friendo. Riverside Park, Hippo Playground, 10 minutes. Perfect. I take my darling children there all the time. I'll be the one wearing a purple sweater and wrapping a baby swing around some skank's neck. Christopher Rick. Cross, are you kidding me? Liz, you don't want to be here right now, because I got to go smack that woman in the face. Chris, you're here to fight me. I'm the original poster. Oh, my god, since when do you listen to T.I.? That message board is for moms. I thought you were a lady. You said you had amazing cheekbones. Mm. Cross, what are you doing here? I don't know. I just hate being at work. Sitting at a desk makes me crazy, so I keep getting up and getting coffee. Now I'm all jittery and weird. Bird! So you hate work. And this mom came in with her kids to see Dr. Emily, and I was jealous of her. Her kids were so bored, I just wanted to jump over that divider and play waiting games with them, like carpet adventure. Or that one where your hands are spiders. Hand spiders. Yeah, so I hate work, and evidently you miss it. I know. I'm a terrible mother. Oh, my god. If you were a dude, you would not even be thinking that. It's OK to want to work. One of us has to. We just got it backwards. You're the dad. I do like ignoring your questions while I try to watch TV. Exactly. I should be the one staying at home. You should be in an office. That's how our family's supposed to work. Except I don't have an office to go back to. Well, so pitch something to Kenneth. Like, I don't know, a show about a dentist's office where the sassy hygienist says things like, I'm turning 30 again. <laughs> I will miss Tyrell. You know, that's exactly the kind of garbage that Kenneth is looking for. And for the sake of my family, I'm going to give it to him. 